Why, hello there, lovely one. It's me, Helen the Great, and I have found a fantastic problem for us to do together. We need to solve this exponential equation. But the problem is, on this side, we have three terms. And as we know, when we need to solve an exponential equation, we need one term on both sides with the bases being the same so that we can make whatever the exponent is equals to the other exponent. So the best way to do this, in fact, the only way to do this, is to employ our favorite skill, factorizing. I love factorizing. It makes me feel good. It should make you feel good as well. Now, this could be complicated if we just left it like this. But if we use one of our laws of exponents, the one that says when you multiply two bases that are the same together, you add the exponents, then we can make this a lot easier for ourselves. Now all I'm doing is I'm taking the term and I'm changing it to 2 to the power of x times by 2 to the power of 4. And let's do this last one. 2 to the power of x is equals to 42. Now it's much easier to take out the common factor of 2 to the power of x. It's still okay to use highlighters when you're factorizing. If it helps you, go right ahead and do it. Okay, we're taking out the common factor of 2 to the power of x, and we're left with 2 to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of 2 plus 1 is equals to 42. I'm going to do this all in one step on my calculator, which means I'm going to move this whole bracket to the other side. Because this bracket is multiplying the term in front of it, or the value in front of it, on the other side, it divides it. It just makes it more simple to do everything in one step on your calculator. Otherwise, you sit there and you press buttons forever and ever and ever. It wastes time. Okay, so let's put the bracket in. And we say 42, and underneath 2 to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of 2 plus 1. Let's see. Gives us an answer of 2, which of course you know is equals to 2 to the power of 1. So therefore, x is equals to 1. Much love.